Yeah, okay. Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our Where To From Here series for Business Plus. Today, uh, we're going to chat prepare the career skills workshops, which are a really important cog in the Business Plus machine uh, and a great tool for your employability. So one of the biggest questions we get for Business Plus is what's next? How do I take advantage? Where to from here? I've signed up. Uh, I might have registered for an event, but I don't really know where to go from there, what the next step is. So today and the, the following interviews will act as a bit of a, a guide for you to just have a quick watch back, hear from some of our export experts in these fields and uh, learn a little bit more about it and hopefully answer that question for you. So what is PREPARE? PREPARE is the element that focuses on our career skills workshops, really helping you get job ready uh, to help prepare you to advance your career. We do have an early careers and advanced careers uh, series, which focuses on different ends of the spectrum and a, a little bit of a different look at career planning and career development. So this works, all you need to do is register for these event series in our upcoming events page, undertake them across the weeks of the trimester. They are a series of four or three. Uh, and then upload the reflections into your PebblePad workbook. Uh, and then you can put those skills to the test. So without further ado, I'm going to put the slides away and introduce you to my guest, Lauren Caramella from our Careers and Employment Service, who's fantastic and who has been running these career skills, among many others, uh, for a number of years. Welcome, Lauren. Thank you for joining me. Hi Matt and hi everyone. It's um, great to be able to just uh, give you a bit more insight into what to expect from the career skills sessions. So um, Matt, did you want to um, ask some questions in regards to that or do you want me to just describe the sessions? Uh, yeah, let's start at that. Let's start it with a quick description from yourself in your words, what each of those series are, is about. Yeah, okay. And I should say that I'm a um, psychologist and a career development consultant with the Careers and Employment Service at Griffith. And we've worked with, um, with Matt and others in developing the Business Plus program to really try and ensure that you get a great all-rounded experience of uh, developing employability throughout your program and therefore success when you're looking for uh, graduate opportunities. So um, it's wonderful to work with the Business Plus program and we've been doing that for a while now. Um, just to give you an idea about the career skills sessions, so they're very much designed around trying to help you with uh, moving through that career development process from making decisions around what I might do for my major or what kind of um, graduate roles really interest me right through to the interview skills process. So let me just run down each um, separate um, session for the early skills workshops and then I can talk a little bit about the later skills workshops. So the first cab off the rank for the early career skills sessions is self-awareness and career decision making and that's really all about how to make good career decisions and avoid the negative thinking patterns that limit you. It's also helping you to clarify your strengths, your interests, your values and your personality style so that you can make really good choices and identify opportunities to build on these. The second session is on strategies for finding employment and work experience. And that really outlines how to tap into opportunities and build experience to get graduate employment and, and or work experience and covers how to tap the hidden job market, where to get started with networking and resources to help you with this. The next one is on applications and that's focused on clarifying what recruiters are looking for in resumes, cover letters and responses to selection criteria. And it breaks down the steps um, you can take to build an effective resume and how to sell your education skills and experiences. It also outlines what a cover letter should contain and how to write to selection criteria in a way that really evidences your potential. And then the fourth one is interviews and professional reputation. So that really addresses how to prepare well for different types of interviews and formats, the types of questions to expect and how to effectively respond to these, uh, how to, um, it gives you an opportunity to practice different types of responses as well as how to create a good impression and present positively as well as factors on how to establish a good professional reputation. Um, I'll 
talk now a little bit about the Design Your Life series, which is actually for the um, people who have five years or more experience and might be interested in these three sessions. So this actually applies a design thinking approach to career planning. So that helps you to creatively and proactively develop exciting but realistic opportunities in what is, let's face it, quite an uncertain labour market. So the key principles are based on David Kelly, the founder of the D School and the product design company IDEO, as well as Bill Burnett and Dave Evans that from the Design Your Life program out of Stanford Uni. Um, and session one really looks at the wicked problem of planning your career. Now that outlines the career planning process and how to design thinking that can supercharge this. It helps you identify your priorities, your motivations and challenges you might face and will need to address in getting where you want to go. Session two is very much about ideating career possibilities and getting curious. So that focuses on how to explore your career options with a really curious mindset and participants are supported to generate possible solutions and possibilities using ideation design thinking strategies. The final session is How Might I? Strategies to Achieve Your Career Goals. And this really focuses on how to go about prototyping your career questions and working in radically collaborative teams to undertake activities that help you make well-informed decisions about your future career and to gain clarity on your next steps. So that gives you a bit of a rundown of what's involved in the sessions. So that, and well, that sounds really exciting uh, and you've covered it really, really well, uh, but for students that are thinking maybe around the soft or hard skills, which we hear a lot about, what kind of soft and hard skills might they take out of the, this and, and how will that help them uh, into the workforce going forward? Yeah, absolutely. Well, with the early career skills workshops, um, it's very much about really helping you to be clear about what makes you unique in terms of your strengths and interests and values and your personality style. And that can have a really powerful impact on um, the sorts of uh, choices that you make, the opportunities that you uh, are offered or take up, um, because it gives you more clarity and confidence in terms of your career choices and career direction. Um, it's also aimed to give you skills to identify and combat negative thinking patterns that can hold you back. So that's incredibly helpful um, in terms of uh, moving forward, as well as really how to make good choices, how to make good decisions, how to do networking um, and how to build your networks. Um, it also gives you skills to sell yourself in written applications um, and how to evidence yourself in a really persuasive way, as well as being prepared for interviews, developing skills in interview technique and presenting positively, which is just so crucial um, to being successful in an interview situation. So all of these things are really um, aimed to have a powerful impact on your career options and experiences so that you build your confidence, you build your professional identity and you can really capitalise on the opportunities that come your way through the various and amazing programs that are run through GBS and, and Griffith more generally. Sounds great, sign me up. Um, <laughs> so we, with that, you sort of went through the distinction between the early and the, the, the more advanced or postgraduate or the, the later sessions. So why is it important for those students considering the advanced sessions? Why is it important for them to have that experience before attending? Look, um, yes, it is really, really helpful to have some understanding and some confidence in some of these areas when you're then looking at um, more of the design your lifestyle of sessions that the um, more experienced students might move into. So by all means, it's great to, to go back and have a look at some of the recordings of some of these sessions and to check in with some of the resources to, um, to familiarise yourself with those things. Um, but the uh, sessions for the more um, advanced um, experienced students are really trying to take things then to the next level in terms of looking at how to further develop your career because a lot of people with that career experience have a bit of a sense of themselves 
themselves and where they're at and what they might like to do, but really want to get ahead and really want to see how their further studies is really going to advantage their career. Um, so the Design Your Life sessions are kind of taking a new approach to that career development and planning in looking at applying that design thinking to it. And design thinking in itself is quite a, a useful and valued skill in modern workplaces, but it can have quite a transformative um, impact on your career development and your life planning as well. So the sorts of things that we'd want you to get from those sessions would be um, the ability to, to self-assess and identify where you're at currently, um, but what motivates you and what your preferred directions are as a result of that. It's also giving you skills in terms of um, generating creative solutions to difficult problems, which is incredibly useful, um, as well as proactive mindsets that really um, help you to move forward and, and bust out of any um, challenges that you face in terms of where you want to head. Um, the ability to prototype ideas is also really uh, a great skill to have, as well as that experience of radical collaboration and how that can really enhance decision making. Yeah, that's one that series is one I'm really excited for and one that is going to be run for the first time in Business Plus at the very least in 2022. Um, but that's one of the myths is that the advanced series is only for postgrad students, but that's not actually the case, right? We could have Hi. some of our undergrad students who are mature ages that have got one or two or three careers behind them that this would be perfect for. Absolutely, yeah. Um, yes, and we do get a broad range of people doing those advanced sessions. Um, and, the, and the key is really just having some experience out there in the labour market to have some sense of what, um, where I'm at and, um, and to be reassessing that on the basis of my current studies. Because quite often when you come back to studies, you're really looking to capitalise on that and you're very focused on, you know, what are the outcomes that I'm going to get from this, uh, this time and this energy that I'm investing into my degree. So absolutely, that is anyone with that, that experience to um, it's appropriate for them. Hi guys, uh, just uh, a segue. I have with me one of our Business Plus ambassadors, Wilma. Uh, she is around campus. She's involved in a lot of stuff and Wilma completed this program, our Career Skills Workshops, last year as part of the Will program. So Wilma, I wanted to ask you from a student perspective, what you got out of the Career Skills Workshop series? Uh, thank you for having me, Matt. Thank you, Lauren, for this opportunity to um, join you guys this session. And um, yes, definitely my um, experience with uh, Business Plus, I was able to plan in, um, especially on the self-awareness, I was able to um, conceptualize and tailor to uh, my personal and professional uh, experience to uh, cater towards knowing myself and also organization and uh, pretty much um, network around as well and, and try to fit in into employability. Yes. So how do you, from a student's perspective, uh, I mean, will students will complete this program as a core part of their, their course that they have to complete, um, but it's open to all students. So would you recommend this to any and all business students? Yes, definitely. I would definitely highly recommend the program because it gives you the um, extracurricular and the edge of, you know, uh, getting yourself out there getting yourself involved and, and evolve at the same time towards not just your university academic, but also your, you know, experiences and be more well-rounded as a, you know, graduate. So highly recommend to all of you to participate and join all the activities, especially in this business class. You also get to um, uh, get credential at the end of this. So uh, make sure you turn up and join as much as you can. Thank you, Wilma. And look, Wilma is one of our 20 ambassadors in 2022. You can find more about them on our homepage on the SharePoint uh, and touch base with them around the campus. They've got, they should all be wearing their shirts uh, at every opportunity so you can easily identify them and uh, just go on up there very friendly. So thank you, Wilma. Thank you. I look forward to see you guys soon and uh, come and say hi. I'm happy to share. Now, lastly, before we wrap it up, reflection, you touched on that. Self-reflection is such an important part of the Business Plus program. 
and this exercise, this series, what's involved in the reflection from a Business Plus point of view, taking it from the series and putting that into their own workbook? Yeah, look, and the whole point of that reflection is you having the opportunity to take in what you learn from the sessions, but to then think about how you're actually going to apply that and, and to plan for that. So that's the, the kind of key value of reflection is that time to be thinking about, OK, well, what does this actually mean for me and what am I actually going to do? And actually writing out that reflection is almost um, a process of commitment to I, this is important to me, this does matter and I am going to prioritise this amongst all of the incredible priorities uh, that I already face in my life. So I think that's an incredibly valuable tool um, to do that and to, and to take the opportunity for that. And obviously that also helps you with your credential for the Business Plus. It certainly does, yes. So the prepare is the, the second part of the seven elements you'll complete in the Business Plus program if students do choose to complete all of those elements. Of course, they can complete this series and, and the different elements at any stage during their degree, whether they're on campus or online, which is one of the beautiful things about the program. Uh, that it's never too late or too early to get involved uh, and there are many other things that they can connect and create synergy between as well. Uh, but thank you so much for joining me today, Lauren. I, I trust that students will get a little bit more out of that and hopefully understand where this sits in the program and where that sits in their own development. Uh, and look forward to seeing many of you students who I'm talking to uh, at the sessions uh, in trimester one, two and beyond. Thank you so much and we'll uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now. Thank you.